Hi, this is Karthik from azureautomation.com and this is part 16 of our ALM with Team Foundation Server Dev and QA focused video series. And in this part, we'll be talking about executing unit test with Team Foundation Server 2015. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 14 and 15 since this part will have some continuation from that part. All right. So what are we going to do in this particular video is to see how the unit testing can be done with Team Foundation Server 2015. So if you have already watched part 15, we created the build definition and while we executed the build definition, we saw that there were some kind of test being executed as a part of the build execution. And we also saw there was a report generated in the test run and we saw how the test was actually executed and how many tests got failed. So how is that happening behind the scenes? So that's what we're going to discuss in this particular video. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio. So this is my Visual Studio and I have the Team Explorer and you can see that I have selected the employee project which we have been discussing so long. And this is the solution which I'm going to show you where the unit test is actually sitting. So I'm going to just double click this to open the solution. And you can see that this is my project and this is my employee test project within this solution. And you can see that I have a very simple unit test one dot CS file. And you can see that it actually has some kind of unit test cases, which is written against the application, which we have built. And you can see that this test case is actually talking about mock. And this mock is again at another video series, which we already discussed in our execute automation video series and you can see that from here in the video series which is available in execute automation channel so we created all these test cases in this particular video series so if you want to have a greater understanding of how this mocking framework is working you can look at here so these are the test cases which is actually being executed against our application which we built and you can see that these are nothing but some of the unit test cases all right so if you want to run and see how the test case looks like if i build the solution and if i go to the test explorer and you can see that we have a set of test cases available and there is a test case which i intentionally made this to fail so that we can see the failed test case as well so what i'm going to do is I will run all the passing test cases and if I run the selected test case you can see that all the test case will execute and the test cases will pass. So you can see that the five test cases got passed and this is the another test case which will actually fail. So if I run the selector test you can see that the test will run and it will fail for sure. Right. So this is what is actually happening in our project. So these are the test cases which we have for this particular test. And that's what is happening behind the scene in our build definition as well. So if I select the employee project and then I go to the build and here is our employee EA app build definitions. And once I click this edit, you can see that we have a Visual Studio test as a step and you can see that it's actually selecting the test.dll which means whichever DLL has a test in it, it will automatically select that particular DLL as a test project and it will try to find if there is any test method as an annotation or attribute and then it will try to run them. So you can see that our project has a test in its project name so its DLL is again going to have a test in it and there are unit test as well right and you can see that it has test method as an attribute for our test methods right so that's why it is automatically selecting the tests and it is running them so now if I once again try to queue this build and if I run this particular build using the EA pool which we created and if I hit OK so you can see that the test is now the build is now executing and it has took all the sources it is now building the solution and then it will test our build against the test that we have and then it will publish the artifacts to the drop folder and now you can see that one of our test 
method is actually a failing test case that's what is happening here you can see that there is a failing test and the remaining test got passed it is publishing the artifact to the drop folder so the build got failed and now if i go to the test tab you can see there is an option called runs so if i click that runs you can see that the test which we just executed will be appearing here and now if i just double click that particular test run you can see there is a run summary and within this run summary you can see that what is the outcome of the test and how many tests got passed and how many tests got failed and then you can see what is not available and what has got passed and what is the failures and also you can see the uh, the attachment of the error so you can get the complete report as a trx file here so these are the way that you can run the test not only just from the visual studio but also you can run the test and see how the test is executing from the build definitions so this is how you can run the test from the build definition in visual studio team foundation server 2015 so thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.